Hello, this is Malcolm Bowden. I'd like to speak to you on the subject of the claim by evolutionists that this Earth has existed for four and a half thousand million years and that life started on this planet about 600 million years ago. Now there are quite a number of ways in which a rough idea of the age of this Earth could be made and one of them is to uh, look at the elements that are going into the ocean. We can work out roughly how much is going in there and we can find out how much is actually in the oceans uh, to see how long the, the, uh, they have been flowing, the rivers have been flowing into the oceans. Many, many elements can be uh, looked at in this way and there are various other ways of looking at the age of the earth for getting very approximate ideas. Now, these are completely rejected, all of them, by evolutionists because they simply do not give enough time for evolution to have taken place. Every single one is rejected uh, because of the short time span that is they provide. Anything from a few thousand years to perhaps one or two million, that sort of order. And that is far too short a time for evolution to have taken place. So where do they get these millions and billions of years from? It is from one and one only method of measuring the age of the earth. And therefore it is because it gives answers in millions of years, it is the only one that they quote. It is the only ex uh, scientific investigation that they are prepared to quote because it gives them answers in millions of years, which they badly need. Now how does it work? Well, in the rocks that come to the surface, there is quite often in them a very small percentage of what are known as radioactive elements. And these radioactive elements slowly decay over time. And when they decay, they throw off what is known as a daughter element. And by estimating the, uh, speed, in which, uh, checking the, the speed in which they are decaying, and the amount of daughter element that they have, and making many, many other assumptions in addition, very few of which can be actually proven, they do finish up with millions of years for the ages of the rocks. One of the problems is that when they investigate the age of the rocks using different radioactive elements and radio decay, they find they get completely different ages and they have sometimes a problem to determine what truly is the age of the rocks using this method. Now there is one factor that they have completely ignored and that is the fact that the speed of light was very, very much faster in the past. About 10 to the power of 7 up to the power of 11 times faster than it is today. Evolutionists make the assumption that it, the present rate of decay of radioactive elements has been unchanged for millions and indeed billions of years. But that is a huge assumption. Because if the speed of light was faster in the past, then the radioactivity would also be faster in exact proportion. If the speed of light was twice as fast as it is today, then radioactivity would be twice as fast. And therefore, a piece of rock with radioactive material in it would very rapidly throw off a lot of the daughter element, and by today's rating, it would appear very old. But the speed of light would have increased the radioactive decay producing large amounts of the daughter element and it would appear very old today. So we can take these millions of years of the evolutionists and apply a factor that, depend, that is uh, connected to the higher speed of light in the past. And when we do that, we don't reduce it down to a few million years, we reduce these billions of years down to a few thousand years, which is more in accord with the Bible, which indicates that we have been on the, this earth has existed for about 6,000 years. So we can take the one and only dating method that the evolutionist is prepared to quote and apply a factor for the higher speed of light in the past and reduce his millions of years and billions 
down to a few thousand. Just as the Bible tells us we have been here. Just about 6,000 years old. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for listening.